So like many of you, I've been rummaging through my pantry to find some stuff I could just make. And uh, today, this green jackfruit is gonna be one of those things. And it's gonna be so good. I've, it's, okay. I'm serious on this one. What we actually need to do is take out all of this jackfruit. This it comes out to about three pounds worth of jackfruit, but we do need to drain it from all of its brine. The brine can be incredibly salty, so we just wanna make sure that we don't include it for this recipe. Dump all of your jackfruit into a decently sized bowl, but you can see that when you start pulling it apart, it starts to actually already look like pulled pork. We're gonna salt this just a little bit at first to get a flavor for it. Then we're gonna use two tablespoons worth of chili powder. I mean, a little bit extra helps. One tablespoon and a half of garlic powder, one teaspoon worth of paprika, one teaspoon worth of cumin, and just a little, little more. I like that cumin flavor. And then we're gonna dump all of this directly onto our jackfruit. Now you can use whatever spices you want at this point, but I am doing kind of a chili spice for this because I like the way it tastes with the jackfruit, but you just wanna make sure it's totally incorporated. And to kick up the flavor a little bit, we had some extra garlic laying around, so we're gonna go ahead and peel these guys, give these a little bit of a nice thin slice for when we actually saute them so that they caramelize pretty quickly. You could always leave out the garlic or do a rough chop or add in whatever you want, to be honest. I'm also gonna use about a half of a white onion. This I'm gonna slice to maybe about of a quarter of an inch slice just so it holds up really well with the jackfruit. You can use red onions, yellow onions, white onions, shallots, honestly, whatever you want to just give it a little bit of that nice umami bomb. And finally, we're gonna need about one cup worth of your acid of choice. I actually really like the blend of apple cider vinegar and rice wine vinegar. So for this, we're gonna be using about a half a cup of each. But that's all really you need. Some onions and garlic, a little bit of vinegar, and your chili spiced jackfruit. But because I have this extra pineapple laying around from when I did my pineapple fried rice, I'm actually going to incorporate this as well. If you don't have fresh pineapple, you can use something like a quarter cup of orange juice or pineapple juice directly with your vinegar to get that nice flavor. We're gonna go ahead and make sure we peel this and get it really nice and clean before we go ahead and dice it. We're gonna use about a third of this pineapple because we don't really need too much of it. The goal is to cut these into about quarter inch or small dice pieces. So to do that, we're gonna slice that piece that we cut in half in half and then go ahead and dice it from there. You do wanna make sure that they are fairly small so it doesn't overtake the size of the actual jackfruit. Go ahead and add all of your pineapple directly to your jackfruit. Another thing a lot of people don't think about is using the core to actually flavor things. The core actually has a tremendous amount of flavor. So I just like to peel it off just a little bit and use some of the softer flesh parts to directly add to whatever I'm cooking. It doesn't chew very well, but it does cook down really nicely and you won't have any kind of a weird fibrous taste to it because it will be cooked down. And now we have all of our jackfruit and all of our pineapple ready to go. That's really all you need. Now to cook this off, we're gonna need a nice size saute pan. Get your oil up to about a medium heat and dump in your garlic and your onions. We just wanna sweat these a little bit and that just means when they start to turn translucent, they're ready to go. Once that happens, dump in all of your pineapple and all of your jackfruit. You wanna make sure you saute this up together so all of those spices start mingling together with the onions and garlic you previously sauteed. As you're sauteing it, you'll start to see some of the spices stick to the bottom. Once they start sticking to the bottom, this is when we add in our deglazing liquid, the rice vinegar and the apple cider vinegar, or whatever juices you may have chosen. I also added an equal part of water because I realized that the vinegar wasn't enough liquid to start covering the jackfruit. You wanna start sauteing this up until it comes up to a light simmer. Once it comes up to a simmer, turn the heat down to a very low heat and throw a lid on it. We're gonna cook this for about 45 minutes to an hour until everything is nice and tender. After about 30 minutes, I actually could smell this upstairs while I was editing video. I came back downstairs to see that some of my liquid was actually gone. I added another half cup of water just to bring up some of that liquid level. Now after the full 45 minutes to an hour, everything is super soft, super tender, and just break it down a little bit with a fork or a potato masher to really get some of those bigger pieces broken down. This is ready to go. So what's great about our jackfruit pulled pork is that we can utilize it with almost anything. And since I have a little bit of extra okonomiyaki batter from the other day, we're gonna use that. And also a little bit of, you know, one of those like the Japanese sandwich, we're just gonna 
was really happy with how this jackfruit pineapple pulled pork came out. And while you could eat this on its own, it does go better when it's paired with other things. So for those other things, we're going to be using some of that okonomiyaki batter that we had made the other day. I am using my little flat top skillet because I do like the way it cooks this batter. You can use a saute pan if you would like, but since I have this, I'm going to use this. I realized that the rest of the batter that I actually had was a massive okonomiyaki style pancake, but this will be fine. It's going to be big. We're also going to take the other two slices of toast that we had cut and lightly toast them on one side. Once you have a nice G bad golden brown and delicious on that one side, we're going to flip them over and let them cool down for just a minute. Don't, don't touch them. Take some of your beautiful hot braised jackfruit, pop it on top of your batter and make sure it has a nice layer. And then we're just going to, we're going to one spatula flip this nailed it almost. Once that top is nice and G bad, we're going to go ahead and throw a lid on it to make sure you steam the rest of the pancake. Once the pancake feels like it's cooked in the middle, we're just going to leave the lid off and scrape the bottom off just to make sure all of it is nice and crispy. You got some nice color on that jackfruit and you're ready to go. Now for the sandwich. For the sandwich, I'm going to be using just a little bit of that Q-Pie mayo, just for a little bit of that tangy creaminess, maybe just a little bit more because I do like it. A little bit of fresh cabbage right on top. Hit this with a little bit of lime juice and some salt. Now we get to layer on our beautiful pineapple braised jackfruit right on top of that cabbage lime salt mixture. Give your sandwich just a little bit of a press, not too bad, and move it off to the side to rest. While the sandwich is resting, we're going to start plating up the okonomiyaki. For this, we're going to take a little bit of a different approach. We are going to be using the Q-Pie mayo for that creaminess, but then a nice Stubbs spicy barbecue to change up the flavor. I'm also going to hit this with some extra green onions that I had laying around. Use whatever garnish you want. Now for our jackfruit sandwich. I think I said that right. Give this just another little press before we cut this. We're going to cut this obviously on a diagonal, right in half, and look at this. Oh, it is the holy grail right now to me. It is so beautiful looking. And easy peasy, lemon squeezy, we have a beautiful jackfruit sandwich and a beautiful jackfruit okonomiyaki. This is pretty freaking simple to do. There's no prep work. There's nothing really involved. I mean, there's a few things you have to cut up, but look how much of it we got from two cans worth of jackfruit. This will go a long way. I'm pretty excited for this, this jackfruit pulled pork sandwich. The fluffy bread, little bit of mayo, here we go. Like, it's so fresh, it's so tart. It has this beautiful citrus flavor to it from the pineapple. Then you get the garlic and the spices and the bread and the mayo. A little bit of crunchiness from the slaw. That sandwich is delicious. And now for the jackfruit pulled pork okonomiyaki. You can use whatever sauces you want on top of this. I went with the traditional Q-Pie mayo, but then I added my favorite barbecue sauce, one of my stubs. That's phenomenal. Tangy from the barbecue, creamy from the mayo. All the spices still come through from that jackfruit. So freaking good. Those two cans of jackfruit probably cost me $3.50, maybe less. And all the other ingredients were things I just had laying around the house. Use curry spice if you really want to. Do whatever you want with the jackfruit. It's super versatile. Have you ever had jackfruit like this before? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you haven't, I encourage you guys to, you know, you know what you're supposed to do. My name is Chef PK. I hope I taught you something today. Get subscribed. And remember, keep playing with your food. This sandwich is going directly in my mouth. Stop looking.